offstage notes, a little background here to understand what the early church was working with. The growth of the early church is not just a spiritual development. Kind of my background here for this, these statements comes from a history professor I had at one point who was Jewish, so not looking at things from a Christian perspective or a spiritual perspective. And his question was, what precipitated the growth of the church? What helped to make the church grow? And one of the key factors is rooted in Old Testament history. In 587 BC, the Babylonians conquered Jerusalem. The leadership of the land was placed in exile. Not all of these people returned after 70 years. To the west of the Promised Land was Egypt, where a thriving Jewish community was founded, centered in the city of Alexandria. Judaism was also carried to the eastern Greek cities, i.e. Asia Minor, some of which are represented in the seven cities mentioned in the book of Revelation. So the faith was carried to these areas, for example, by enslaved people, traders, and others. So that by the time of the first century, Jewish communities were found all around the Mediterranean Sea. Now, the Roman Empire had a Greek half and a Latin half. And as you get further to what is going to be Western Europe, the Jewish presence was less and less. Herod the Great, his reign is from about 37 BC to 4 BC. So he dies right around the birth of Jesus. Herod the Great did a major rebuild of the Jewish temple. It was one of the great marvels of the Roman Empire. So not only was it a significant building in the Jewish religion, it was also a significant building, period, in the Roman Empire. And the temple was a center of Jewish life at this time. To this temple came Jews from all over the Roman Empire and beyond. 